All right, I wanted to bring you guys out to the garage. Um, whew, I come out here and I'm gonna go right back inside. <laughs> um, so, I don't even know where to start. See the empty spaces over here? Christmas stuff goes here. Halloween stuff goes there. I've got a few empty where bins go. And then I can actually, like see, here's a bin right there. Um, there's my steamer right there, but there's spot for bins up there too. So all this stuff can be put away, <laughs> but uh, the couch is normally empty. There's a stroller I need to get rid of. That's a Halloween decoration. Um, this is the kid's baseball, which it looks like sports have been canceled again. Um, I can put that out. I, I can move this. That's fine. Um, this shelf is just going to go right in that back corner right there. So that's fine. I can put a bin on top of that. Um, this pile of bins right here can go over there. But this is this is the next thing I want to... Uh, the, the boys are home. Today's Monday. Today's Monday. The boys are home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I should be free Thursday, Friday. I got the podcast Friday night at 8 p.m. So check out my TikTok live. And, uh, and I'm doing a podcast... I'm going to run through my live. I think someone else is doing it. I'm a guest on their podcast. And I'm going to try to like sit the audio next to my iPad and run run it through live so you guys get to watch too. Is the game plan. Um, but yeah, I want to sit in here. I got a heater. You see it up in here. I live at the beach, man. I got wakeboards. We got tubes. We got all kinds of stuff. But I got a big old heater right here. I got a smaller one right here so man i can heat this garage right up and set up camp out here but uh all right the reason i got you out here is a, a lot of people so two things i'm gonna tell you a story about a helmet where i was caught in a flashover people were asking me about it on tiktok then i'm gonna give you an exclusive not exclusive a first hand you're gonna get a first hand peek at my dad's old helmet and my grandfather's old helmet so i'll pull those out in a second, it's nothing to write home about. They're nothing fancy. They're nothing whatever. But I want to tell you this story because it's not something on TikTok where I can tell you in uh, in a minute. Because there's got some, not funny, but it's got some pretty good details to it. So let me show you this helmet. That way when I show you these pictures in a little bit, you can match the helmet up. So this is the helmet. It's it's hung up through the uh <laughs> through the hole in the wire. But uh you can see the tetrahedrums. You know, here's a regular tetrahedrum. You see these are all burned up. And uh and then I'll match match some before and after pictures right there. So and then after this story, after this story, I'll show you I'll show you those two helmets right there. But uh as most of y'all know, I ramble. I, you know, I don't, I, I try not to. I do. So, so bear with me here. Um, I say, I say bad words. This is, uh, you know, YouTube. You know, they know if you're listening to music in the background and they copyright you. They know if you say a cuss word. I guess it's algorithm. I guess the algorithm knows that you cuss and then it doesn't push you out as much. So try to behave here. So this is actually a while, this is a while back. So I know I was with my first wife and my oldest kids, Jeff and Shannon, uh, they were actually with me. So we're going down Greenbelt Road in, in Greenbelt, right directly across the street from Goddard Space Flight Center. Directly across the street from Goddard Space Flight Center. So there's a Kmart right there. So we pull into the Kmart, say, you know, hey, let's walk around the Kmart for a couple minutes. Never, ever, ever went inside the Kmart this whole story. Never went in there. So we pull into Kmart. I see my mom in the parking lot. My mom is walking towards the Kmart. So the kids are all happy. Jeff and Shannon happy to see her, man. So they go running over to Grandma. I look over and I see a huge column of smoke. Not a column like it's an auto. Not a column like it's a dumpster. Like, huge column. A block away. Building on fire. There, no, You talk about a no-doubter. And uh, I'm in my Chiefs buggy. I'm like... 
mom, can you watch the kids so I can run this call? Otherwise, I had the kids. I wouldn't be able to run the call. And uh, she's like, yeah, yeah, I got them. So, uh, so my first wife hops in the car with me. And, uh, man, we peel out of there. You talk about Dukes of Hazzards. We just skip it. Go out on the Greenbelt Road. And as it's the next apartment complex over at 8400 Black and Greenbelt Road, if people want to look it up, look at the area, whatever. And I was at the Kmart on Greenbelt Road right next door. But uh, you, this joker, heavy black smoke. So pull into the complex. As I pull into the complex, and I didn't say anything because I wanted to get the numbers. Obviously, I'm not just calling in some random call and not even actually on the scene yet. You know, I got to gotta see what it is. But the box box hits as I'm pulling into the complex. So units are on the way. I pull up to this thing, black smoke. I park, throw my gear on, go running up. I do a 360. I run around, go to the back. Fire is blowing out the ground level apartment of this joker. Fire is blowing out this joker. And, uh, you know, I'm throwing pictures in here. Um, my ex actually took pictures. So that's my ex snapping pictures. When you see them, you're like, who the hell was taking pictures? That was her taking pictures. So I radioed. I'm on a scene. A fire showing. Meanwhile, just at a random, very, very random, um, the Prince George's County police helicopter was in the area. They saw the column of smoke. So they get on the radio and they're like, uh, you know, hey, fire board, you know, you got fire blowing out of the back of this part. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know I'm here. And uh, so one of the other chiefs from West Lanham, I was a 28 chief at that time. One of the 48 chiefs pulled up and took command. I'm like, yes, I got interior on this joker. <laughs> so I gave him a size up. I ran around. We got fire showing. I stand in front of the door and I'm getting dressed, just like the picture right here. So I'm getting dressed and I see fires rolling down there and I'm like, there's no engines there yet. So let's shut that door and start checking apartments, make sure everybody's out because I see no movement in the building whatsoever. So I go down as I go to shut that door, apparently is what I found out afterwards is they were making t-shirts. Something caught on fire, the t-shirt press or whatever caught on fire. They were trying to save their t-shirts. They had a huge Tupperware box of t-shirts. They dropped it at the door it was stuck between the door. The door would not close. I didn't know this at the time. I'm trying to close the door. I'm trying, there's a box in the way. I'm trying to get the box out of the way, shut the door. There it went. Poof. So I'm in a bottom level of a garden apartment stairwell. Luckily, the stairs that go up to the outside where that picture I just showed you where I was getting dressed, it flashed. That fire blew up those stairs like a blowtorch. And I was able to duck into the corner because there's two apartment doors. The apartment that was on fire and then the apartment right next door, right next to it. I was able to just crouch down in that corner and just like pray. And uh, she flashed, blew up. And then as you saw from the other pictures, it was, you know, venting out the rear really go. Once it flashed, I was actually able to get that door closed. I got the door closed. Everything was good. You know, it settled back down. But uh, yeah, I was just in one hell of a flashover, but it wasn't directly on me, if that makes sense. I was able to hide in a corner down low and like, you know, a doorway over. And the, the, the bulk of that flash went up the stairs and out the main entrance. So I was in a very lucky spot, really lucky spot. So the lines got there, 48, my, uh, you know, my second station, Greenbelt, they get there, had two hose lines. Um, another chief officer showed, so I helped one of the hose lines, and he helped the other one. We go in there, they're at the door, and it's not even darkening down, man. They're trying to hit this fire. And, uh, man, I looked at him, I was like, man, let's put this fire <laughs> We... <laughs> We took the lines from the line and just opened it up, and we did old school, man. Both the both of us walked in together. We crammed through that front door, and we were whipping as we went in. He went to the left, I went to the right, and we put this whole apartment out. And uh, afterwards, you can see in this picture right here how much fire there was. And, of course, it was leapfrogging up. There was extension to the second floor. It is what it is. There was crews up top. They hit that. And then... Uh, you can see on my face right here in this picture. So a couple things I want to show you is my face, how red it is right there. Look at my helmet in that picture. 
Here is a picture of my helmet before I went down. Remember, I was still getting dressed and putting my face piece on. Look at the helmet on my head in this picture. And now look at the helmet now. When I came out to command, you know, it was high-fiving everybody and all that. No, no, no. But you can see I got a hose line in my hand. I, I ended up with the hose, man. That was good fire. And uh, I started blistering at the command post. And they're like, dude, what the hell? And I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, you are burnt up. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So like I said, I, I had my actually that was my first wife. So I had my first wife with me. And uh, I'm like, do I have to go by ambulance? Can, you know, can she drive me? And they're like, dude, don't mess around. You've got to go to the hospital. I was like, all right, cool. So, uh, so I said she was going to drive me. She did. So we ran back to Kmart. I told my mom, she's like, what happened to your face? <laughs> I was like, that fire, I just got burned up. So I let her know I'm going to be a while. So I think she took them to my house and just waited for me or whatever. And then uh, I drove myself to MedStar. You know, I was there for a couple of hours. They, you know, opened everything up, cleaned everything, you know, and, and you know, put me out of service, do the whole burn treatment and all that. But um, <laughs> no, so I finally finished at the hospital and uh, and then I called my chief and let him know. I said, hey, I'm leaving the hospital. They're not keeping me. We're good. You know, I'm leaving. Um, safety and all that wanted my gear. So I'm going to I'll show you pictures of my gear right here. But, uh, you know, you can see the right shoulder. You can just see how I was like tucked in and buried down the way that shoulder flashed like that. But again, I wasn't in the direct bulk of that fire. So it's not like I got totally burned up and my gear was totally burned up. It was just that exposure of the side. So again, real lucky spot to be. If you got to be in a flashover, that is the best place to be, man. But whew, that was an experience. And I don't even think I was scared. And I didn't even realize I was burned until people pointed it out to me. I, I had no idea. The adrenaline's pumping. You know, I just put a whole apartment out. I was like, man, I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, you don't even think about it. And and like I say, you can see from my helmet before I went downstairs, that's not a fresh helmet. You know, that fire, you know, I run fires. It's a busy department. You know, that was not my first fire by no means. And uh, it took an experienced person to put that out, as a matter of fact, because the linemen that were there, they weren't getting it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's that, man. If you got questions or anything, you know, hit me in the comments. But I know a lot of people were asking about that in detail on uh, on TikTok. And I'm going to put a video on TikTok and I'm going to refer it back to this video. But again, I got those helmets and I will do some TikTok videos on these helmets real quick. But like I said, the first first sneak peek is going to be this YouTube video right here. So let's let's open this box and uh, let's check them out. And uh, I'll probably just put them right back up here and... As people know, I just retired. These are old uniforms. Uh, I say my phone's in there. I said, don't. <laughs> I got my damn phone. Um, so here we go. Mm. So that is my grandfather's um, helmet. District of Columbia Fire Department. And listen. That's the old tin helmet, so that tells you tells you how old that is. Look at the inside, man. It's like, that's tin right there. There's no liner or anything like that. But that's my grandfather. And, uh, yep, that's his helmet. Like I say, nothing special. You know, it's not like it's all burned up or anything like that. But, you know, again, uh, my grandfather is passed away. And this helmet was left to me. And you talk about an honor. This is such a huge honor to have this helmet. I don't hang it on the wall. I, I keep it, you know, I keep it put away a little better because of that. Yeah, I, I'm really, it's a huge honor to have this. And, you know, he retired from the District of Columbia Fire Department. Um, he is now passed. And, you know, this is one of the things I have of him. Another, another treasure I have, um, I have a lot of his training material, a lot of his paperwork um when he retired throughout i've got a lot of that in a box and those papers like if you touch them they almost crumble so i don't open those or anything else but i do have a lot of uh 
some older stuff of his administratively like that. And again, it means so much to me. You know, I'm not just going to open it up and, and, you know, go through it and all that. But when I first got the stuff, yeah, I went through it and I was like, man, this is amazing. Like the sprinkler system, and I don't know if the same one is still there, but the sprinkler system at the DC Fire Academy that is half cut open so you can look at how the clapper works and all that stuff. My grandfather was a part of making that, and there is a certificate in there of an award he got for making that for the training academy. So some of that stuff is like, man, you talk, it's an honor. I mean, I can't, you know, there's no other way to put it. So, but let's, let's look at my dad's volunteer helmet. You know, don't take anything, don't take anything away from my dad. He's a volunteer. Um, he retired from the phone company, you know, put in his time at work, but he volunteered for the longest time. And this is one of his older helmets. This is from way back. I don't think I was even riding yet. That's how old this is. And, uh. Yeah, this is, you see this, it's actually leather. And uh, you, know, you see the, flip it around on the inside, I'll open it up some. I mean, again, no no impact. Try, we get, try to get some light in there, get you a flashlight or something, there you go. No impact cap or anything, that's just leather. And uh, it's got the corns. symbol but that's uh yeah that's that is my dad's and uh you know thank god he's still around but this is this is one of his helmets from his earlier days and again you know he passed that down to his son this means a lot to me <laughs> so i i keep these i keep these packed away obviously um i got some old soup bowls in here it looks like um i'll show you some old soup bowls my command chart um each each unit is a magnet so as you moved i just slid the magnet um it was set up pretty cool but uh i was a county safety officer for many years so when i ran a safety call you know i had to throw this bucket on my head so i was i was designated as the safety officer or whatever but uh, but there you go in a nutshell, man. You got you got yourself a good story about how I was in a flashover. Um, you got to see those two helmets that people were asking about. So I'll try to get more stories up for you. And uh, I need to clean my garage. But uh, you guys have a great day, man.